Hello, and welcome to the Techovation Dynamics and Loudness series. In our first video, we will talk about controlling dynamic range with AI compressor and M leveler. What is dynamic range? There are multiple ways it can be defined in music production, but it is useful to distinguish between dynamic range on macro and micro scales. On the macro scale, Dynamic range can be defined as a difference between the loudest and the quietest peaks of the track. It shows how dynamic the performance is overall, that is, how sounds vary in level between each other. On the micro scale, we can define dynamic range as a momentary difference between peak and average levels of the audio. This is a characteristic of each individual sound, showing how much stronger the attack portion is relative to the rest of its body. Take a guitar arpeggio, for example. Macro dynamics look at the difference in levels between all the notes, while micro dynamics look at the shape of individual notes. AI Compressor focuses on controlling dynamic range on the micro scale by bringing average levels closer to peaks. By boosting average levels, it increases the perceived loudness of the audio. And by not increasing the maximum peaks, AI Compressor helps to avoid digital clipping. Note how AI Compressor brings up the body of the note closer to its peak. AI Compressor can also affect macro dynamics. Like any compressor, it operates based on a threshold, boosting any audio below it. Any quiet notes that fall entirely under the threshold would be boosted as a whole. As a result, the quietest peak level would increase reducing the macro scale dynamic range. If you want to have direct control over macro dynamics of your track, use M Leveler. M Leveler brings all the peaks to a set target level while keeping the micro scale dynamic range completely unchanged. M Leveler increases the consistency of the performance by bringing peaks to the same level. Note how the waveforms of individual notes keep the exact same shape and are just being scaled. This is what makes M Leveler transparent, preserving the original microdynamics. 
To get more refined control over dynamic range on macro and micro scales, you can use M Leveler alongside a compressor. When a compressor alone controls the dynamic range on both sides of the scales, the peak to average difference will not be consistent between loud and quiet sounds. If a quiet sound falls entirely under the threshold, all of it will be boosted, without reducing its micro scale dynamic range. By placing M Leveler in front of a compressor, we can improve the consistency of the macro dynamics before compression. This way, the compressor will be able to focus just on the microdynamics, achieving a more consistent peak to average difference across all sounds. Note how using both M Leveler and AI Compressor together gives you louder and more consistent results than when using each on their own. Let's listen to an example processed by M Leveler followed by AI Compressor. Mm -hmm. 